Hey guys and welcome back. So it's time for my October new in beauty video. I'm so excited about this month. There have been so many awesome launches, more so than previous months. So I'm going to get started, starting with lower end stuff. One of the exciting things that has launched, I think it launched at the end of September, is a new kind of base duo from Soap and Glory. I love Soap and Glory. Their makeup is fabulous. Um, this is called One, he One Heck of a Blot and it's the primer and the foundation. I think they already have the powder in this range. The primer is £10 and the foundation is £12. These are aimed at oilier skin so I'm not the best person to have tried these out because I don't really have oily skin, I kind of had normal skin, um, verging on a little bit dry but not really at the moment. Um, so I've been using these and they're nice but they're definitely a little bit too matte for me. I like the primer more than the foundation. This is, um, I think on first impression you would think it would be a dupe for Benefits Poor Professional because it's aimed at oily skin and it kind of has similar packaging, um, all of that kind of stuff and it's got a similar kind of consistency too but it's not as dry as the Poor Professional and definitely not as filling, it's more of an all over primer but this is really really nice if you're looking for a new kind of drugstore primer I definitely recommend that. The foundation is not for me, it's a little bit too matte but for £12 it's pretty good if you want to try it, I wouldn't recommend against it but I think um, the primer is definitely more up my street. Another massive drugstore launch this month has been the Rimmel The Only One lipstick. I've done a full review of these on my blog, so if you want to go and see the swatches of all 15 colours and my thoughts in more depth, then definitely go and check that out. They look like this. They claim to be the only one you need, but I have to say, for me, the packaging is just a nightmare. Like, you have to do that every time you open it. This is not new, I've worn this a few times. Um, this colour is my favourite, a 700 Naughty Nude, and I would say to sum up my very long um, <laughs> review on my blog, they are really, really nice. The formula is really long wearing and they are comfortable to wear. They're kind of like a semi-matte satin finish and they're really lovely to wear and the colours are really beautiful. However, the packaging is a pain, as I just demonstrated. The 15 colours are a little bit on the brighter side, so if you're looking for nude, this is the only real kind of nudey, mauvey, kind of pale colour. A lot of them are very bright, kind of reds and purples. They do have some great purples. Um, and the other thing is that they smell really, really strong. Like, all Rimmel lipsticks smell kind of fruity. I think they have the same scent. These ones smell a lot stronger than the other ones, I think. So if you don't like the smell, then um, not sure you'd like these. But these came out at the beginning of the month. I do actually really like them. I feel like I'm being a bit negative about them. I do really like them and they're £6.99 so pretty good price too. Another thing that's just launched onto the high street is from Real Techniques which is Sam and Nick Chapman's range. Super excited that they've launched a brush cleanser. About time there's a high street brush cleanser. Seriously. I don't even know if there is one that exists at the moment. If there is I don't know about it. Um, this is a deep cleanser so it's more of like a brush shampoo. I struggled with this when I first used it. I was like, it's not actually cleaning, but I figured out it's better to use it on the drier side, so get your brushes just a little bit damp, and then pop some in, and then don't add any more water when you're kind of lathering it up, and just really work it between your fingers. I really hope they bring out spot cleanser for brushes, like um, the Cinema Secrets one, because seriously, we are lacking that on the market. Um, but really, really happy with that, and I think it's $6.99, available in Boots. Another thing that's launched from L'Oreal is the True Match Genius Compact. And this is a really interesting product, because it claims to be four in one and I'm always a bit skeptical. Primer, foundation, concealer and powder in one really. Um, I'm not sure about that but actually it's quite a nice product. It reminds me of my um, Chanel Vitalumia Aqua the uh, compact version, it's like the cream. If you like cream products I think this is a really good option. It's great for topping up. I often find when I'm out and about I lose kind of coverage around my nose and my chin and I want a bit more of a kind of like coverage and powder and everything, like probably concealer and a touch on my foundation and a powder and you don't have time or the products in your bag to do it. This is really good because it comes in really slim packaging, it has a mirror, it has a sponge and it just lets you kind of do all of that really quickly if you're in a hurry. So I think it's a really good handbag product, it's £12.99. Um, if you're looking for something on the more affordable side um, that is similar to that kind of compact makeup, like the Chanel one that I mentioned, I definitely recommend checking this out. Um, but yeah, it won't be for everybody because I know that kind of cake, not cakey, but like cake makeup isn't for everybody. Another thing I'm really excited about is a release from the Sanctuary Spa, which is Wonder Body. This is kind of similar to Sally Hansen Airbrush Legs, but it has a lot less coverage. So if you want something that kind of perfects your skin when you have kind of bare arms or even like a shoulders and chest area or your legs, this stuff is great because it doesn't have that foundation coverage, but it adds like a real glow. It has like illuminating kind of 
properties to it. I don't know, it's kind of, it's hard to explain because it isn't, it's almost just like a tinted moisturiser or a primer would do to your skin as opposed to a foundation. So if you want something a bit less obvious, it also has the Sanctuary um, signature scent to it, which personally I love, I absolutely love the scent. It claims to hydrate, illuminate, transform, refine, even, correct and perfect. That's a whole lot of claims. It's eight pounds, comes out this month and you can get it in boots. I personally really like this. I think it's a really nice one for the festive season as well and winter because it does have that kind of hydrating element as well. Really lovely. And then the last one from the high street is from Mask Bar. I was excited to see these because they're the under eye patches, which I haven't seen in Boots or Superdrug yet, or a more affordable version. I know Skin Iceland make them, um, Ico make them, but they're quite expensive. This packet's £10 for five, so still not the cheapest thing ever. They're £2 a set, but um, really nice. And they have sunflower seed, phytocollagen, vitamin A and E, and they're just really cooling. I don't know if you guys have ever tried a product like these, but if you're flying or traveling or you've had a, a heavy night out, they're really, really lovely to put under your eyes because they're really kind of refreshing and nice. So nice to see some of those on the high street as well. And then moving on to high-end beauty, there's a couple of nail polishes I wanted to show you guys from a brand called Eve Snow, who I actually hadn't tried before. These are £14, so they're fairly pricey and they're available in Marks and Spencers, but this is her Christmas collection. She actually has two other colours that are quite grey um, kind of taupey colours, not anything particularly special. But these two, which are Kamikaze and Jet Setter, are the most beautiful metallics. They're just really, really lovely. I'm going to put a close-up so you guys can see, but I'm actually wearing kamikaze at the moment and just perfect for autumn winter if you're looking for something a bit special and you want kind of oh it's almost like a statement but it's not too out there like the metallic element adds like a really nice pretty um glow to it but they're not like metallic glittery nail varnishes they're still sophisticated really like those there's also a new release from elemental herbology this brand I love, but they're, they're actually really expensive. You can get them in Space NK. I adore their cleanser, the Vital Cleanse, and they've just brought out the Vital Glow, which is an overnight resurfacing cream. And this has got absolutely tons of stuff in it. And what I really like is it's got retinol in it, but it's got a different type of retinol that isn't as prone to causing sensitivity as like the normal type of retinol. I don't know enough about the science to know about different types of retinol. Um, it also has AHAs in it, so it's really nice, it's like chemical exfoliating, and just, it leaves you really kind of glowy. It's a really rich cream as well. It's not like a kind of serum or anything. It's a really rich night cream. It's really hydrating, and it feels lovely on the skin, and then you wake up and it's kind of adds a little something in the morning. These overnight masks, they work differently for everybody. Some people say they notice a difference straight away, other people don't, but um, personally, I've been using this for the last couple of days and I do really like it. It's pricey, it's 55 pounds, um, and it launches this month into Space NK. Like that a lot. A new hair product on the high-end side of things that I think is really interesting is from Fito. I don't know if it's Fito or Phyto. Let me know if you guys know if it's Fito or Phyto. Anyway, it's the exceptional cream from their new Keratin Extreme range. I've actually tried the shampoo and conditioner for this and personally it's probably a bit heavy for me and it, the, like the, the actual mask is really, really expensive so I don't know if it's worth it, but this product is lovely. It smells incredible. It smells like a perfume. It's really delicious. What I like about it is that you can put it onto wet hair and kind of use it as a heat protectant kind of styling cream and it's also good for helping with tangles as well. But then you can also put it onto dry hair and it doesn't make it greasy. It's not like a heavy texture but it still makes everything really sleek and unfrizzy. I really love multi-use products especially when they are really nourishing and they actually work equally as well when your hair is dry and wet. So I'm really, really impressed by this. It is pricey, I think it's about 26 pounds and it will be launching into Space NK as well this month. So keep an eye out for that. If you've got frizzy dry hair and you're looking for something new to try, I definitely recommend that. Another hair product that's launched this month from Unite is part of their seven seconds range, which is one of my favorites. This is their glossing dry thermal shine spray. Again, it's definitely a trend in hair styling I've noticed at the moment is that dry heat protectant spray. The Oscar Blondie one has been um, kind of around for a while, but I feel like everyone else is starting to bring them out now. I do like this, it's 18 pounds, so it's quite pricey. Compared to the Batiste one that I showed, was it last month or the month before, that's just come out, I do like this. It is really good, but it is quite pricey for what it is. One thing I do like about it, if you have blonde hair, is getting shine into blonde hair is really hard because it, you don't have that 
um, natural kind of contrast with the light that dark hair does. You want to apply more and more until it looks shiny and then it ends up looking greasy. It's a fine line with blonde hair and this is actually really nice adding a little bit of shine but it's not heavy and greasy in any way. Oh, and a little skincare one actually that I forgot to include next to the um, Elemental Herbology Cream is the Cordely eye cream. This is a new range from them called Reserva Troll Lift. I really, really like this. I'm a big fan of Cordely. I think um, their products are really lovely and effective, but nice to use at the same time. This is a lifting balm, so it has hyaluronic acid in it for moisturising your eye area, but then it also has their new ingredient, which is called Reserva Troll, um, which is meant to be kind of lifting and anti-aging. So I haven't used it for long enough to notice any major difference. I think eye cream is frustrating like that. You never get that instant noticeable change that you get from a mask, but I do really like this, and the texture is really nice as well. It's almost like a gel cream so it's not too heavy but equally it's not just like an eye gel. An exciting new one for Space NK again is a new brand to the UK, I think they've been around in Ireland for a couple of years but it's called Lucy, Alla Lucy Annabella Organics and I have been trying out one of her bath milks. It's an aromatherapy brand so I feel like aromatherapy is something that's for some people not for others, some people love it, some people hate it. If you're a fan of Aromatherapy Associates, however, I would recommend checking this out because she does really beautiful aromatherapy scents. She actually set up the brand after formulating aromatherapy kind of solutions for cancer patients as well. The packaging for this is really beautiful with their like illustrated rose and what I like about this is it's not an oil. So it's a milk but it's as strong as an aromatherapy bath oil. So I'm used to using the aromatherapy associates ones that you put in the bath. I love them, don't get me wrong, but they are definitely like oils whereas this is a milk so it really makes your bath water kind of milky and it just feels a bit more luxurious than using an oil and you get the same kind of um, scent and it just really, it, you don't get any kind of film on top of the bath, really nice. The one I've been using is Date Night. And then I think this might actually be the last one, an exciting one if you're a fan of Becca. I think this actually came out at the end of September but this is their poured um, shimmering skin perfecter. So it is a cream version of the existing liquid and powder skin perfectors that they do. I actually have the colour rose gold. I got sent this so it's a little bit darker than what um, I would normally wear. It's more of a blush for me. I think if you were if you had a darker skin tone it could definitely work as a highlighter but for me this is more like a shimmery blush. Really beautiful. Um, I think this is perfect if you're kind of on the go and that's £30 and is available now. Let me know in the comments if you guys have heard of anything else new that's coming out at the moment because I'm always looking to try and review new stuff and keep an eye on my blog as well because I'll be posting a couple of reviews um, of some of these things on there in the next few weeks. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye guys. Hey guys and welcome back. So today I have an autumn haul for you all of things that I've picked up over the past month or so getting ready for the colder weather. I'm actually filming this on the 1st of October so I feel like it's properly autumnal and the leaves are on the ground and I'm just feeling